Hey everybody, welcome back. So I have um, a video for you that is uh, my completed coloring pages from the end of March through today. Today is May 19th. Um, the reason why I'm stopping today and not showing you, like waiting until the end of the month, is because I have to have surgery on my hand uh, a week from today. And I don't know what I'm going to get colored through the end of the month. So I thought I would stop here. And then if I am able to get anything done um, later, I'll show you. So, um, yeah, uh, my surgery is not going to be on my coloring hand, so that's good. Um, but it is going to be kind of a, a, a big surgery for my left hand. Um, I know you guys have seen that you've been with me for a while and you've seen I have like the cyst on my hand and it bothered me a lot. Well, we came to find out that the reason why it was bothering me so much is because I had a piece of metal trying to poke through my skin and it has succeeded. <laughs> So, I have this jagged piece of metal coming through my skin, which is really freaky, obviously. Um, in 1992, I had a pin placed in my wrist to fuse it so that it wouldn't drop down further like my right hand, so that my hand would stay fairly, you know, upright when it be dropped down. Um, and this was done in 1992. Well, a piece of that pin has splintered and is coming through my skin. And it doesn't hurt before anybody wonders, like, oh my gosh, doesn't it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt at all, which is really strange. Um, but it has to come out. The whole pin has to come out because this piece is still attached and it goes into my bone and it could, if it gets infected, it could lead to a bone infection, which is very dangerous. Um, so I have to have it out. The pin goes from about here all the way up to about the middle, almost, of my forearm. So it's kind of a big pin um and yeah so it has to come out and um the, my surgeon said he thinks it'll be about two to three week or th two to three months recovery time so um I'm my plan is to film a bunch of coloring videos I'm gonna do a bunch of flip throughs I'm gonna do a haul I'm gonna show my completed pages and then I'm gonna schedule them for upload over the next two weeks or so three weeks two well probably two weeks and then um, we'll go from there and see how it is. But I do color with my right hand, so um, I still plan on coloring when I'm feeling, you know, like sitting upright and, and feeling good enough to do that. But um, we will get started. So um, no particular order with these um, papers, but this is, or pages, but this is from uh, Deborah Miller's Stained Glass Color by Number. Um, it's her Zen Doodle. Uh, under the Zen Doodle title, and I did, let me make sure, I did not do that page. <laughs> I did the one before it. Typical me, right? Never having my you-know-what together. So I did this one, these flamingos, and what I did was use acrylic paint for the bird and well, for everything, and then over the lines I used my gold metallic Posca. I don't know if that's going to catch or not in the light. Um, I have started watching Feral Shoujo, uh, I believe is her channel, and I'll link it below. And she uses acrylic paint in her Heche Color by Numbers, and it, they just look so beautiful. And um, I want to try that some at some point. I actually have two more Heche Color by Number books I'm going to show you in a flip through video. Um, but um, I thought I would try to get some practice in under my belt before I went to work in those because they're so lovely. I wanted a little bit more, you know, practice. So uh, I did this page. I really like how it turned out. Considering I don't usually use paint at all, I feel pretty good about it. It was fun, and I'd like to do some more like that. One thing I realized is I have a ton of acrylic paint, but I didn't have any, like, normal green color, just, like, flat shade of green. So I had to come up with a mix greens together and so I purchased a green paint um, at the grocery store, a green uh, Deco Art Americana 
you know, acrylic paint. Um, so I would have a green, but I think it turned out really fun. And I'd like to do some more pages in this book that way. Um, and I have a ton of acrylic paints that need to get used up and I don't want them to dry out. So I thought this would be a good way to work on that. So that one is from the Zen Doodle Color by Number Stained Glass, Dazzling Art to Color and Display from Deborah Muller. And sometimes this book is on um, Book Outlet. I think that's where I purchased it for like three dollars or something very inexpensive if you catch it at the right time so that is that one and then I also colored in the other stained glass or not stained glass I'm sorry oops my macaron sketchbook's gonna fall uh, the other color by number from Zen Doodle by Deborah Muller and that is the Spring Awakening Blooming Gardens to Color and Display. Um, and this one qualified for the um, t uh, Color Your Hoard that Lavelia and T are doing. Now I gotta find it. I didn't flag it because it's the only page I had done. There we go. So I did the check in because I always hear the exper uh, the um, uh, the phrase. I'm no spring chicken or, you know, such and such as a spring chicken. <laughs> so I thought I would do the spring chicken, right? And I used Black Widow pencils for this one. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Let me consult my coloring notebook, which I do have, and I have been filling out appropriately. So give me a big hand clap for that one. Um... I, oh, I'm sorry, Color Pencils, not my Black Widows, Color Pencils, and it was the April Color Your Hoard 2022, so, yeah, this one was fun, I've never colored a chicken before, I don't usually color animals, so I figure, because I'm not very comfortable with that, so I thought, what better way to do it than to use color by number, but I thought it turned out cute, it was fun, you know, it was fun. So that one is from the Zen Doodle Color by Number Spring Awakening by Deborah Muller. And I got this one the exact same way on Book Outlet when it was marked down to very inexpensive. So, so yeah, always check. Actually, I just placed a Book Outlet order the other day, and there was quite a few Deborah Muller books on there. They weren't, like, marked down to, like, 3 or $4. They were a little bit more expensive, but um, you just have to check, you know, go up and down. So uh, just, you know, just keep checking. The next one I did was from Rose Windows, um, Creative Haven Rose Windows, and I believe that's by Avrin. I want to say his name is Avrin. Joel S. Avrin is the illustrator on that. And this book is in my uh, 10 books to finish. Like originally, I think, what, what year did I do that? <laughs> do that? Uh, participate in that tag was like 2020 or whatever. Yeah, didn't happen. But um, I did two in this one and I used um, Black Widow pencils on both of them. So let me see here. This was the first one I did um, and I used, yeah, just Black Widow pencils. I, I used my Draco Malfoy uh, page flag because of the green and Slytherin and this was the green for uh, this one. I think it turned out really pretty. I really like those colors together. I thought it was nice. And then I actually have, let me put this over here. I did the one after it also. This one I don't think was as pretty as the green one, but still, you know, nice. And like I said, this one is on my 10 books to finish. So I would like to get done. These are very quick. I can do one of these in like an hour, hour and a half. And it probably wouldn't even take me that long, but I'm a slow colorist. And I also stop to look at Facebook and stop to get a drink of water and stop to look at the television. You know, I'm, I'm that kind of colorist. So if I just sat down and actually colored, I could probably do it in an hour or whatever. But these are a lot of fun um, with this book. It has a lot of neat mandala type stained glass. They look really, really good. So that one is Rose Windows Coloring Book, uh, Creative Haven. And then um, I also participated in a color along that Sonia's Mixed Media was doing. It was Entangled April, I believe was the hashtag that she used, Entangled April, where you just could color from any of the Angela Porter Entangled series from Creative Haven. And I actually have two, I think. I 
I think I just have two. This one, the dragonflies, and I also have the eerie one. And at first I was going to do the eerie because obviously that appeals to me being Halloweenish, but I ended up not finding one in there that caught my attention. So I did this one out of the dragonflies. And, um, I'm not really like somebody that's into all the Zen doodly things and stuff. So I really wanted to simplify it for myself. So I just colored over the Zen doodle things. Um, and I used the Kalur premium pencils and, um, fine tack pearlescent paint over the top of that. I must've used Pasca or gel pen too. I can tell cause of the black. But, um, I, yeah, that fine tech metallic paint, I went over some of it with that. Um, and then this must be color painting pencils, fine tech pearls and paint. I didn't write down what this is, but this must be distress ink. I think, I think it's distress ink. So, um, yeah, it, it turned out okay. I'm not crazy about this part of it, but I like the middle section and I like the paint and everything and it definitely made it less intimidating to just go over all these swirls and doodles and stuff like that so and then this also counted as a color your hoard 2022 for April um because it was the first time I had colored in this book and something I thought was ironic was that when I colored in this book, I looked, I, I love checking my Facebook memories. That's like one of my things I do every day. Uh, and this book actually popped up and my Facebook memory when I was coloring this page and I had purchased it six years ago to the day that I was coloring in it. And so it sat on my shelf uncolored for six years. So here's my thing that I always say, and I know people will disagree with me and that's totally fine, but like, I don't ever feel the need to purge my collection um, of books that haven't been touched in a while. They say, well, if you haven't colored in it in a year or two, you're never going to color in it. And see, I totally disagree with that. That's proof that, um, that's not always true. And, um, sometimes my interests change or, you know, just, I feel like branching out or be doing something different. So while I do know that I can't just like continuously never get rid of anything and keep buying more coloring books because I will run out of room in my home eventually. Um, you know, this is proof that even if you've had a book sitting on your shelf for six years, you might pick it up and color in it. So that was Entangled Dragonflies by Angela Porter. I'm sure you can hear the washing machine going in my house. We're doing laundry. So the next one I colored in was from Macaron's sketchbook. And um, I did three, I think. One, let me look at my notebook here. One, two, one, two, three. I did three um, in this. And this is also in my 10 books to complete. Let me find the first one here that I did um, eventually. These are really quick and easy. Um, they just, they go fairly simple, you know. So this was done with Kalur Premium Pencils. Also, looks like I did some gel pen too. So, you know, they're just like little quick, uh, little quick colorings. Uh, let me see what else. Let me grab the next one up oh, further to the back here. I have quite a few done in here. This one, um, was color pencils and fine tech iridescent paint um, on her glasses and the skull. I did that metallic uh, paint or iridescent paint in her lips too, I guess, and her nails. And I guess I yep on her little sweater or shirt or whatever that's supposed to be. So had a lot of fun with that one. And then the last one I did was this one. And this one I did on um, Easter Sunday. And I did that while Easter dinner was in the oven. <laughs> and it was color pencils and gel pens. So no glitter or anything on this one. But I like her hair and the skin. These, this book is a lot of fun. You can really do anything you want with it. You know, with 
Carla Magana, you can absolutely go balls to the wall if you want to. Not that I do. Although I have, I have one page in particular where I just absolutely went crazy with it and I love it. It's probably the, one of my favorite pages that I've ever colored. Um, I think that was in Spook Lots volume one, I think. But yeah, I just, I really love it and I had a good time with that. So um, I would like to finish this one someday. I have quite a few done in here um but i still maybe it's a little bit more than half colored but um yeah i always really liked this one too that was one of my favorites i think i did that on camera a long time ago 2020 may looks like may 18th or 19th 2020 that would have been like two years ago um and I did this one on camera, and I really like the way this one turned out, too. It's just a fun little book, so you can see it curls up. I was using a hair tie. Kate, if you're out out there watching, <laughs> I, I, I'm not using my hair tie anymore, but I probably should. <laughs> so that's Smacker on Sketchbook by Carla Magana. And then lastly, I have some pages colored in Miss Fantastic by Deborah Muller. I believe I have... One, two, three, four, five. I have six colored in this one. Um, this one I had originally intended to have completed by the end of this month. Um, I don't think that's going to happen now because of the surgery. I wasn't planning on it. We just found out about this on Tuesday. I went to the to the doctor and he said it has to come out right away uh, because of the risk of infection. So uh, I don't think I'm going to get this book done, but I, I have five pages, I think, left in it. Um but I did six, so I have them flagged. I can feel this one was um, actually just a whip, and I had her like skin and hair done, and I just went ahead and added a little bit of shading and some Posca to finish it up. So no big deal with that one. And then let me see. The next one is here. This one is let's see I think it's alcohol markers I believe yes alcohol markers and oh Cali art that's what they are Cali art marker markers Prismacolor and some Posca so nothing major on that one and then the next one is let me find it here. This one is Prismacolors Pasca. Let me take my little Luna Love Good thingy off here so you can see better. Um, Prisma Pasca and my Deborah Muller watercolor paints that were purchased on her Etsy store. So look how metallic and iridescent her paints are, you guys. Um, loving 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 that so she has these watercolor sets available on her etsy store um also like in the box the fairy box that she sold uh had uh, a set of three paints in them and then the mermaid box that she just did for may had one gold paint in it i haven't used that one um, but I purchased them on my own. I know people think maybe that I get everything for free from Deborah, but I don't. Um, and, uh, so some, you know, she does send some things to me and I appreciate it very, very much, but I purchased a lot for myself too. And so I did purchase some of the paint from her Etsy store. I think I got two sets, um, that I bought for myself. So yeah, very, very pretty. Um, and then the next one is here. This one, take my little Neville off of there. This one is obviously Distressed Ink in the background. And I think it's Neo, yeah, it's Neo Color 2 Prismacolor Gel Pens and Distress Ink. So that's that one. And then uh, the next one is this one here. And this is just Neo Color 2. I did not shade it or no Pasca, no pencils, no anything. It's just strictly Neo Color 2. Um, so I, it, later on, after I finished it, then I'm like, okay, now I need to go with my pencils. And I'm like, you know what? 
you don't have to go in with your pencils. It's okay. Just leave it. Let it go. So, so that one is just Neo Color 2. And then this one is the last one that I did, I think. And this one is Neo Color 2 uh, Distress Ink Prismacolors and Pasca. Yep, that's what that is. So I could finish this book, my last five pages, um, if I just did like straight coloring with alcohol markers or maybe some pencil, but I really would like to make my last few pages in it, put some effort into it. And so I, I don't know if I'll get it done or not because I just don't want to do that. So my next page, I actually, let me see wasn't that one. I have already, here it is, it's this one, and I've already treated it with the, I, got, I can't hear something on the page, um, I've already treated it with the satin glazing liquid so that I can use, I think I want to use, um, um, oh shoot, what do I want to use? Ink tents. That's what I want to do. Because I love ink tents and how vibrant it is in these books. I think this page uh, that I did a long time ago, the very beginning, I love that. This is my favorite one in this book. I absolutely love that page. And I, that might have been ink tents, or maybe that's neo color too. I can't remember. But I think this one was ink tents and I really like that how it turned out it's not perfect or anything like that but I, it's pretty to me and vibrant and bright so so I probably won't get this done this month but if I don't it's okay you know but that is my completed pages from the end of March through mid-May so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to question or comment below. Um, next I'm going to film a haul for you guys, a coloring book haul of books from Amazon. And then after that, I'm going to film several flip throughs and I'm going to schedule those to be published um, over the next week or two so that we've got some coloring content going on. I'll be honest with you, the reason why there hasn't been any coloring content is because I felt self-conscious about this. Um, it's not attractive. It's strange <laughs> to have a shard of metal poking through your skin. It's weird. Um, and I just figured people wouldn't want to see it. But you know what? It is what it is. And I can't do anything about it. Well, obviously now I am doing something about it, but you know, I just, um, yeah, so it's going to get taken care of. Um, and, uh, but I wanted to film some of these videos before I got the surgery done because I didn't know when I'd feel like filming any coloring stuff again. Um, I'm, I'm going to have, you know, the doctor told me I'm going to have initially a really big bulky probably cast and bandaging and stuff like that and then we'll go down to a smaller cast more lightweight and then it'll go down to another cast and then splint and everything so for a while I'm going to be kind of in incapacitated although Keith is going to help me he said he'll absolutely help me film videos and do flip throughs and pages and stuff like that for me and I can just narrate <laughs> so that'll be nice but um all right, I'll stop talking. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one, which will be my haul video. Bye for now.